Welcome guys, this is the Charter Quest CFO Global Competition. My name is John Eliades and I'll be your host throughout this competition. I was privileged last year in 2016 where I was appointed as MC of this competition and this year I'll be your host and the MC of this competition. I must say I'm very excited for what you guys are about to see. You guys are going to see something that's going to change education in South Africa, on this continent, and for the rest of the world. This competition, I truly believe, is the next idols in South Africa in education. It's going to set a new standard in education on bridging the gap for our new upcoming students in South Africa. So, let me tell you what this competition means to me, why I'm so excited. I'm very excited because... When a student goes to get educated at a university or at a college and a professional body and they want to set up their career for something great and they have high expectations for their career and so does their families. But this competition provides something that no education institution can provide. It's the gap. It's the gap between getting your education and knowing what happens in practice. It's the gap of getting the privilege to be surrounded with people that have gone before you. It's the gap between being able to put up your hand and ask someone with 20 years, 30 years, 50 years experience doing what you want to do in your lifetime and asking him a question and sitting around a table with him and asking him a question on how it happens and what takes place in the real world and how to overcome difficult circumstances. That is why I'm excited about this competition. No, wait, I'm not just excited. I love this competition. You know what? Sh schools and universities love this competition. Professional bodies love this competition. The judges love this competition. You know what? Business loves this competition. The South, African, the South Africans are going to love this competition and also Africa and the rest of the world will love this competition because it's a new standard in education. I look forward to taking you guys and presenting to you guys this competition for 2017. This whole series is made up of seven episodes. This is the first episode in the seven series. So what we want to do today is explain to you exactly how this competition works. We have the CFO Global Competition that's made up of people participating all over the world. And then what we have is the national competition and that is only from South African schools. So schools in South Africa, those students enter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to explain to you the stages, how the event works and the different stages there are in this competition. So you will actually see from hundreds and hundreds of people entering these competitions how we end up to six people, six teams, sorry, coming to South Africa and how we're going to end up with a winner. That is what we're going to explain to you. And what we're also going to do to you at the end, we're going to, ex we're going to show you the judges, the high caliber of judges that participate and make this competition work because the judges is the key element in this competition. So that is what we want to show to you in this first episode so you get a, a good understanding on how this competition works. Before I get started, I would like to introduce my guests. All four of my guests are the co-founders of this competition. On my far left, I have Patience, who is the Chief Operating Officer of Charter Quest, and she is the Deputy Director of the whole competition. On my closest left, I have Stephen. Stephen is the Project Manager of the competition and the Finance Manager of Charter Quest. On my right, I got Tekofato and Tenolo, who represented Charter Quest and South Africa in a separate global case study competition held in Poland in 2015. You know, I also want to acknowledge another co-founder who's not here right now, Justice Chabalala. Together with my guests, the founders, we will guide you through this competition. So let's get started. Both these competitions have the same format, 
the same structure and the same case study. The difference between the junior competition and the global competition is the intensity and the complexity of the issues at hand. Now there are four stages in this competition. So what I want to do is I want to ask Seko Fatso to explain stages one and stages two. Thank you Johnny. Stage one is a preliminary stage. Here a team of three aspirants, maximum four, analyzes the case study and presents a report to the mock board of directors. A team of external judges then shortlists those reports to the 20 final and then finally comes out with our top six reports. They then move into stage two. Now stage two is exciting. The public get to interact with us here. Here the teams have to submit a video explaining why they entered into the competition, what impact do they think it'll have in their careers, what impact do they think Charter Quest might have. Here the public will then see the videos on social media, on TV and then submit votes. The team with the highest votes will then get two points going into the next stage. Wow, that is really exciting. I've been actually following it on the web, it's very exciting. Tonello, what is the stage three? Stage three the semi-finals, all roads lead to Johannesburg, South Africa, where the six winning teams will present and take question from a panel of judges. The judges will select the top three teams to participate in the final the next day. Thank you, Tonello. Now, the final stage I'm really looking forward. What is stage four of this competition? Tsekofato, can you please tell us? Here, the stakes are completely high. The final three teams are given an extended case study. They're then pulled away for three hours to analyze and come back and present to the board their recommendations. From this, we have our winners who will be crowned the Charter Quest Future CFOs and Global Business Leaders of 2017. Wow! So that is what the competition is made up of. And not only, it doesn't stop there. The CFO case study competition of 2017 will have a final big prize for the global achievers. The guys who win the global case study competition will get 100,000 rand. And the guys who win the junior case study competition will win 50,000 rand. These are big stakes. So these guys are going to go full out to win these big prizes. But what makes this competition key is the judges. And I want to go and just show you guys the caliber of judges. We have a hundred years, last year we had about a hundred years of experience. These are charter accountants, MBAs. These people are highly qualified with years of experience in their companies. So I want to just go through if we, to show you guys the caliber of judges we have in this competition. This competition is close to the real thing. That's why it's going to change lives in South Africa, Africa and the rest of the world.